welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the channel, we're going to be reviewing a movie that was actually sent to me by a really good friend of mine and a longtime uh, viewer and subscriber of the channel here. Um, you can find him over on Instagram and on uh, TikTok. His uh, username is uh, Cluzy's 4K Movie Corner. And uh, that gentleman, man, I, I, he is just an absolute angel, this guy. Um, his name is Lee, and uh, if you go follow him over there on those social media uh, pages, I'm sure he would greatly appreciate it. But if you follow me on TikTok, then you already know that uh, Lee sent me this movie. And this is a movie that is not available um, in the United States for some apparent reason. I don't know why, um, but this is a, a somewhat new 4K disc. And ironically enough, this is a movie that I didn't own on Blu-ray or DVD or anything. Um, and it's a movie that I had seen many times before, but, you know, always kind of watched on HBO and stuff like that. It's a kind of a steamy movie. It's one of those movies where I watch and I go, ooh, you know. Um, but it's a, it's a really great uh, kind of crime detective story with some really, um, like I said, some really steamy stuff in it. And that is, of course... Basic Instinct, uh, the Paul Verhoeven film starring Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas. Um, this movie is, I really enjoyed this movie. This is definitely not a movie that I think you could make today, honestly, but it really started that whole 90s uh, kind of sexy uh, movie with intrigue type thing that was happening. And uh, this is a release from Studio Canal. And uh, Lee had sent me uh, The Elephant Man in 4K from Studio Canal a while back. And that was a really great 4K disc. And uh, this is actually a three-disc set. And uh, this is the 4K here, which is region-free. And then there are actually two additional discs. Uh, this has the, uh, the movie on standard Blu-ray and the special features here on the secondary Blu-ray. And uh, the Blu-rays are region B, and sadly, I do not have a region-free Blu-ray player, which uh, kind of stinks, but they are a lot of money uh, right now. And to be honest with you, I don't watch a lot of imported films, but uh, this one here, thankfully, all the special features are on the 4K disc. And that's really cool. They did not um, really do that all the time, starting off with 4K, but Studio Canal has done it here. Lionsgate does that a lot as well, and, and hats off to them for doing that. But a lot more studios are putting the special features now on the 4K. And uh, so watching this, I, I didn't have the Blu-ray um, to compare it to, as I mentioned earlier. So I looked up screenshots, and I noticed that Blu-ray being um, very, well, blue. <laughs> it was a very cold blue color palette. And watching this 4K, um, the video quality on this, uh, video-wise, is outstanding. Now, this is a totally new 4K restoration that actually was um, supervised by Paul Verhoeven, and I think it may even been supervised by uh, the director of photography, Jan de Bont, who is a great director in his own in his own right. And uh, Jan de Bont is actually one of my favorite director of photographies ever. I mean, the guy did Die Hard. I mean, I don't have to go any farther than that, but uh, I really like Jan de Bont. And uh, this 4K, uh, again, you can really tell they put in the time to restore this film. It looks outstanding. I really like the way this movie looked. And again, I had only seen it in, in high definition on TV, but the video quality throughout is very different uh, from that older Blu-ray. Just again, going from screenshots, the movie now has a much more... I would say a warmer color palette than it did before. That icy blue throughout is gone. And it's a much more lifelike, I would say almost an orangey uh, kind of teal color uh, than it is blue anymore. 
And to be completely honest with you, I prefer that because the movie looks much more lifelike. Skin tones are much more lifelike now. They were very bland and pale before. And now you can really see detail in makeup, in hair, especially Sharon Stone in this movie. Whew, yeah, um, you can really see some stuff now. Uh, I'm going to try not to be too dirty with this review, but there is some really raunchy stuff in this movie. And uh, uh, it is it, it looks great. I mean, you know, the, the clothing on, uh, on Michael Douglas uh, looks fantastic. You can see little details that you really missed before, especially in close-ups of the actors. You can really see um, some of that makeup not working as well <laughs> uh, as it did back in, in nine, uh, 92 when this came out. Um, this is, uh, it's a, again, it's a fantastic transfer. Uh, hard to believe this movie is 30 years old. It is really amazing. This, uh, just had a 30th anniversary recently. And this just goes to show how fantastic 4K can be. It really breathes new life into this film. Um, there is one scene in particular that really jumped out at me, um, there's a scene where uh, Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone are kind of near like a fireplace. And the flames now are much more orange uh, orange and yellow now. A lot of the colors in this film really jump out now. Whereas before, that bluish, heavy blue uh, color palette was very, very uh, overpowering to the picture. And I think it actually did more harm than good. This new transfer now from the ground up is crystal clear throughout. There is some film grain, um, but it's never to the point where it's extraordinarily heavy. I'd say it's a fine to medium throughout, and it never really you know, gets to the point where it's distracting. Um, again, even at 30 years, this movie looks pristine, and again, really great job by Studio Canal on that transfer. Uh, I think it's a big step up from older transfers of the film. I really, really liked it. And uh, the other thing that's worth noting for this is that this is actually the unrated cut. And very recently, uh, they actually found, I guess, um, some stuff that was edited from the movie. It's only like a minute or so. I think it's like 40-something seconds but they have reinserted it into the film, and that was also restored. So again, they really went the extra mile to try to, you know, make this movie as close uh, to the director's vision as possible, which again, you don't see very often, and I'm glad that they did that. They did a really great job. Um, in terms of the audio quality, it is just a 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio, and it sounded fine. Uh, again, you know, with these 4K remasters, depending on the film, they don't always warrant a, a, a Dolby Atmos track or like a DTS-X. I reviewed the Godfather uh, trilogy recently, and uh, that series, again, I understand why they didn't go back and, and redo the sound. Uh, they already went through so much doing the picture for those films. But this film here... Would it have benefited from a Dolby Atmos track or something like that? Probably not, um, but that 5.1 track that comes with it is fantastic. The music sounds great. The dialogue is crystal clear. Everything is centered perfectly. The surrounds are used as well as you think they could be in a film like this. I, I, I thought it was fine. I, I didn't have any issues with it. There's a, uh, a whole new featurette um, about, like, the making of the film. There's a, a featurette about uh, scoring the film, uh, the music of the film uh, that's done, that was done by Jerry Goldsmith. Again, really great, really great score in this film. There's trailers, some interviews, things like that, some older stuff that's already been around. Um, but it is really cool that they had uh, the time to put a few new special features in here. And uh, honestly, you know, if you're going to import this film, uh, you know, if you're a fan of it, it's definitely worth it. If this movie is not your cup of tea, then I would say skip it. But I really like Paul Verhoeven. I think he's a really great director. Showgirls, eh, not so much. But this film, uh, RoboCop, Total Recall... 
uh, S uh, Starship Troopers, all those films. I, I really love these movies, and this is one that, again, kind of, you know, pushed the envelope a lot when it came out, and it still works today. 30 years later, it still works, and um, again, you know, Michael Douglas being one of my favorite actors uh, of all time, he really sells it in this movie. I'm, I'm looking forward to reviewing uh, that RoboCop 4K when I get it in uh, this week, so be on the lookout for that review soon. And uh, if you are uh, interested in picking this up, then I'll leave a link in the description below so you can uh, get it on Amazon if you use that link then I get a little kickback on the channel here, and it's greatly appreciated. Of course, if you're uh, not subscribed already, hit that uh, subscribe button down below. We recently surpassed 2,000 subscribers here on the channel, which is just mind-blowing to me. Uh, I can't tell you how much uh, I appreciate that, and all of you coming back time after time to see these reviews. And of course, if you like this video, hit that thumbs-up button as well. Until next time, please stay safe and take it easy.